If you think you have a squint, we're very happy to see you at Clinica to investigate this further. When you come to see us, the first thing that will happen is that you'll see an orthoptist. An orthoptist is a highly trained professional in the assessment of squints, that is, misalignment of the eyes. What they will do first is look at your squint in detail. They will look at your eye movements and they'll characterise which way the eyes are misaligned. Do you have an eye that turns in, an esotropia? Does your eye turn out, an exotropia? You may have an eye that's higher on one side than the other. They will then use some prisms and measure the squint so that every time you come and see us, we can look at how your squint is doing and make sure that things are stable. Once you've seen the orthoptist, you'll come and see me. And that's the, the opportunity that we have to talk about how your squint is affecting your life. Are you one of these people that's ha that has double vision from your squint? Is it stopping you working? Does it come at certain times or is it always present? Does it stop you driving? Do your friends comment that you've got an eye that doesn't point the same way as the other one? Does it affect your self-esteem? Perhaps you've had this from birth and you thought nothing could be done, which is what many people think before they come to see us. We'll also talk about your past history, what things have happened to you before. Maybe you've had glasses. Maybe you wear glasses now. Maybe you had patching as a child. Perhaps you've had previous squint surgery. None of these are barriers to you having further treatment. Once you talk to me, we'll also talk about your general health and make sure that you don't have other conditions that could be affecting the squint. Perhaps you've had a trauma, an injury, where you've hit your head and the squint came from that. Perhaps you've had thyroid eye disease. After this, we'll have the opportunity to examine you. And that's the time where I can see your eye in detail. Usually we put drops in so that I can dilate the pupil and look at the back of the eye and make sure that your eye has no other conditions that I need to be aware of, or if you do, that I'm taking that into consideration. Some people with a squint may be able to be managed simply by prisms, and myself and my orthoptist will take you through that. Other people, in fact most people, are suitable for squint surgery, and we'll be able to discuss this in detail. Your eyes are held in position by six muscles on each eye, and these muscles need to be acting equally to keep the eye straight. A squint often results from a misalignment of the eyes, either because your brain has difficulty controlling the eyes or because there's a problem of the messages getting from the brain to the eye. When we do squint surgery, we either weaken a muscle, strengthen a muscle, or move the muscle on the eye so that it acts in a different way to balance the two eyes up better. For many people, squint surgery is done under an general anaesthetic, which means you're asleep for the whole process. However, in some people, it may be recommended that you have an adjustable squint surgery. What that means is that you'll have most of the squint surgery under a general anaesthetic, that is, you'll be asleep for it, but we'll have the opportunity to put one of the muscles, or more, on an adjustable suture. So that is, we put the muscle in such a way, secure it on the eye, so that if you wake up, we can have a look and if it needs to be moved, we've got the option to do that. The vast majority of people who have this have absolutely no problem undergoing the procedure. It's usually a short procedure, a few hours after you have the general anaesthetic. And I'll be there to talk you through it as with one of my orthoptists. That's why I think it's particularly important that you're comfortable and confident in the person who undertakes your surgery. If you have an adjustable squint surgery, you'll wake up with a pad over the eye that's been operated on. That's the same as if you've had a procedure under a general anaesthetic. However, the difference is if you have an adjustable squint surgery, then we'll aim to do the adjustment a few hours, usually on the same day after surgery. When you're awake enough and the anaesthetic's out of your system, we'll put some numbing drops in, which will make the front of the eye much more comfortable. We'll then be able to examine you with one of our orthoptists, make sure that you don't have double vision and that your brain has put your eye into the desired position after surgery. If that's the case, then I will take you through the procedure of having the adjustment done. And for most people it's tolerated extremely well, but I think it's really important that you feel confident and comfortable with the person who's doing the procedure for you. To do the adjustment, I manipulate the stitches and it's usually done in a few moments. 
Sometimes we might need to move the muscle and again that's usually very straightforward and I can talk you through that. Once you've had this done, you'll have some ointment put in the eye and there'll be pad placed on the eye. Patients almost always go home the same day after surgery and it's usually the next morning that we ask you to take the pad off. After surgery, your eye will understandably be red and sticky and a little bit uncomfortable. We'll give you some drops to put in the eye, which will have some antibiotic in it to stop any infection getting into the surgical site, and also some steroid drops just to calm the eye down more quickly. The most common issue after surgery is that you may feel as though you've got something in the eye. That's just the small stitches that we use to close the surgical site. And after about 36 or 48 hours, your tears soften the stitches and the eye starts to feel much more comfortable. However, we advise most people to probably take about a week off work. After a week, I'll see you in the clinic and you'll see the orthoptist as well. And we'll be able to re-measure your eye and make sure that everything's settling as one would wish. That's the case for the vast majority of people. Usually then after that, I'll see you for a follow-up in four to eight weeks. And again, if things are settling as we hope, we may be able to discharge you. It really depends on what your underlying problem is that's caused your squint. I've looked after lots of patients who've required squint surgery, and the vast majority of people are extremely happy. I think it's important that if you have a squint that you feel is holding you back in your life, that you come and see somebody because we'll probably be able to help you. Lots of patients I've looked after will report the really positive effect that treatment of their squint has had on their life. If you have double vision, there's a very good chance that you'll get rid of your double vision and you'll get back to a much more normal life. Be able to drive your car, pick your children up from school, not have intrusive multiple images when you're working. Don't have the strain of trying to keep your eyes straight. For other people, they may not have double vision, but they might find that the appearance of their squint, for them, is a problem. And it may hold them back in the way that they act around people, how they um, perhaps feel that they're perceived by others. If you have a squint, we'll be very happy to see you at Clinical London.